We might just get hit with the reaper. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them birds like we play for the eagle. I'm on probation, so let me not talk with illegal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. What's going on guys, your boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a video. Uh, I know I haven't been making too much videos guys, but coming back with some now, um, had some stuff going on and you know, just a lot of shit's been going on. So um, hopefully I apologize for what's going on, but uh, trust me, uh, this game has been completely on my mind all week and um, have some news today. So reading the reports this morning, Stefan Wisniewski, the left guard for the Philadelphia Eagles will not be starting this Sunday. Isaac Samalo. You know, uh, is going to be playing in this game for Stefan Wisniewski. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Stefan Wisniewski has had an issue. I know the offensive line's been blowing like crazy. Um, I don't know if Wisniewski is just because Wisniewski has really had. He's probably the only player on the offensive line that's really had to earn his job. That really was never set in stone. Um, and I don't know if it's because maybe the Eagles, you know, the coaching staff is seeing stuff on tape. Um, and not liking what Stefan Wisniewski is doing. Maybe they think he just needs a night off, needs a, a game day off, um, needs to sit out and be a backup for one game. Isaac Samalo, what I thought he was going to be our future center of the league, um, has been a disappointment um, as well as Chance Warmack. Um, but Isaac Samalo is going to get the start at left guard on Sunday. And we're going to see what he could do. And hopefully he could bring some juice to this offensive of line. Hopefully he could do something. He's a big guy too. Um, and quick on his feet. Um, I just hope that he can actually make blocks and, and, and pass protect very well because we need this badly right now. And uh, everyone's got to get into high gear come Sunday because this is it. Sunday is the day where the Eagles are going to change. This team is going to look different. And we're going to do our fucking thing. Now going on, Derek Barnett. Defensive end Derek Barnett will not be playing this Sunday, which is a huge loss because... Our D-line is not doing enough so far this year. And I think Haloti Nada had a little calf injury, but he's questionable, so hopefully he's playing. But Derek Barnett is out. Out Sunday. Josh Sweat, the newly acquired Josh Sweat from Florida State, is going to be playing in this game. Starting his first, going to make his NFL debut as a defensive end for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now... Do I think Josh Wett's going to do anything in this game? I don't know. Because he hasn't played a game yet. Um, the problem with him has been in the past is that his motor just stops running. He's always on the ground. Um, you know, he's trying to he's trying to, you know, get the edge and he ends up laying on his face most of the time. But he, you know, Doug Pearson said that he feels very comfortable with Josh Wett being in the rotation. Um, he's seen a lot of good things from him from camp and in practice because when guys like Fletcher Cox and guys like, you know, Michael Bennett and, you know, Brandon Graham, you know, Chris Long really need to rest, need a rest day, Josh Wett is always in there to, you know, go against the offense. And he, and apparently he's, you know, made the offense a little bit, you know, um, has, has made them better, has worked the shit out of them this week um, and past weeks as well. Josh Wett... Hey, think about like this, guys. If Josh Wett pans out, you don't have to worry about another D-end. That's another guy you have on the roster that could be really big for us. Um, you know, I thought he was a steal. I think he needs to be. Once you're on practice squad, it is hard to get playing time. It is. It's hard. It's hard to – you've got to be an impactful player um, immediately when you hit that field. you got to make some tackles. If he shows some good signs, this would be a great thing for Josh Wett. So I'm actually excited to see him on the field. Of course, my – Half my gut is saying he's probably not going to do shit and he's just going to play and he's not going to do anything. And then half of me is saying he might actually do something. So we'll see what happens Sunday with him. Other than that, that's really it. Those are the changes. I am actually was really surprised by Stefan Wisniewski not being in there. I mean, it's either he must be playing really bad. But I wouldn't even say – I can't even just say it was him because the whole offensive line has been pushed back, penalties, holding calls. It's been really bad. Um, so um, we're going to see what happens. And uh, and that's it. So Sunday, 425. Can't fucking wait. Uh, I wish the game was earlier because I want this shit to get done with. But I'm excited, though. 
I was going to go to this game, but I canceled tickets. Not going to be going to this game. I'm going to be probably going to the Giant game at MetLife when we uh, play the Giants Thursday night. Did you see that video? And you know how they say it. Hungry dogs run fast. Damn. That kind of hyped me up a little bit. So, <laughs> let's get this shit going. Let's get this fucking W, please. I will see you guys later. Shake's caught up. Fly, fly.